guys, welcome to my channel. It's Annika and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make three different types of binder covers that you see all around Tumblr and other social media sites. It's just something that you can add to your binders for more style and I love how these covers look nice yet are super simple to make. So the first example I'm about to show you guys is a picture collage style cover that has a lot of pink, purple, and blue themes which I think looks really good with anything. To start off, I went on We Heart It to gather my pictures for my collage. I absolutely love this website because everything is just there and there's so much diversity in these photos. So what I did was go to my canvas where I hearted all of the photos that I thought looked good for my collage. So what I'm doing is are dragging all of them to my desktop and I also went on the search bar and searched up the keyword purple to find more purple pictures. And I also searched up other colors just to match my collage a little better. And now what I'm doing is putting all of my pictures in one folder and I also searched up the keyword celebrities just to add more pictures. For these collages you're gonna have to have a lot of pictures. So now what I'm going to do is open the application pages and I'm going to open up a blank document which is going to be the template for my collage. So what I'm going to do is open up my folder where I added all of my photos and one by one I'm going to start dragging them to my template and rotating them and to do that I press the key command and yeah that's pretty simple. I also went on the top bar under arrange and I for some photos I selected bring to bring forward and others I selected bring backward just so they're not all on the same frame you get me um, so I also added a border just because it looks cleaner I guess and so I'm just repeating everything over and over again rotating changing the formatting, adding some pictures forward and others to the back. I also changed my mind in the middle of this and added a photo border just to make it a little more like a picture collage. So what I did was go on Google Images and looked up Tumblr transparents and I dragged those to the desktop and what I'm doing now are adding them to my collage and removing the white background by selecting the image and selecting the button instant alpha to remove that background and I also went under the shape tab and created a tri uh, not a triangle a rectangle to create my title and also added a photo frame around it to make it pop more and I'm just rearranging some transparents the way I want it to be and yeah that is it for the first collage doing binder cover number two and this one is personally my favorite binder it just looks really minimalistic and really clean so I already started on it and this one's probably the easiest one that I that I did all I did was just select the photos from my desktop and created spaces in between each photo and with this one you don't have to put any borders or anything like that all you do is just arrange the photos according to where it fits and this one is honestly really really easy so I'm just doing that the same process for all of them I deleted some photos just because I wanted to match the color scheme a little bit better in this case my theme is sort of like a beige black and white really pale colors and if you're wondering why I put a blue bar on the top of my page is because that is where I'm going to place my title in once I finish my collage. So yep, that is finished. So now what I'm doing is selecting my shape, changing the color to white and adding my title. And for that I quickly went under the font tab and selected a font that looked good with my collage. And that is it for that one. So last but not least, I have my third binder cover, which is easier than it looks, I promise. It takes a little time, but trust me, you will get it. So what I'm doing now is going under the shape tab and I selected the triangle shape. And all I'm doing is duplicating each triangle so that they can measure to be the same size. And for that, I put command D for duplicate. And I had to kind of eyeball this as well, 
I had to make sure they, they all fit in the page. And now what I'm doing is taking all my images from my desktop and placing them inside each of the triangles. It automatically masks, masks it for you, so you don't have to really put much effort into it. I know for some I adjusted the photo just so that it can be the way I want it to be. So that is pretty much what you do for that one. And I went once again on We Heart It to just search up more photos on my canvas because I realized that for this collage I'm going to need a lot more photos than I did for my other ones. So right now I'm flipping the triangles upside down and for this I selected the tab. I selected the shape and then there's like a little upside down arrow which you find by clicking the shape and is under the category rotate next to flip. And what I'm doing is the same thing. All I'm doing are duplicating the triangles, flipping some upside down, making sure that they align with one another and inserting the photo in each triangle. So yeah, I rearranged them just so that they could match up better, I guess. And I also went under the shape tab once again and created a rectangle, which is where I'm going to add my title. I changed the color of it and reduced the opacity. And I selected the text in a text box and I rotated it using the command key again. And I titled it Calculus, which is the course I'm taking at the moment. And I added a photo frame to make it pop and that is it for that one the very last thing i did for these was select command p for print to print all of my collages and to place them in my binder and that was my final demonstration i hope these demonstrations made sense and that you enjoyed making them hey guys it's annika and once again welcome to my channel i really hope that you guys found this tutorial very helpful as you can see, this is my first video and I am really going to be committed to starting off this channel and really helping it grow. I really want to help you guys in any way that I can. I will try my best to put out new content every single week. Yes, every single week. And I will also be open to new feedback on new ideas that you guys would like me to put out there. So leave comments down below and I'll be answering any questions that you guys may have. I will be looking at all the comments and try my best to respond to all of them. And it'll just mean so much for you guys to like this video and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I just cannot wait to show you guys what I have planned. I am so excited. Like, Trust me, you guys won't be disappointed. You guys, I will try to make a unique day wise. So yeah, I love you guys and thank you for watching. See you guys next week.